Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. On this channel, I always feature a book on the topic of interior design or gardening, and often share ways that this book has inspired me or general musings of life. Come sit and relax while we look at Charm School, the Schumacher Guide to Traditional Decorating for today. Written by Emma Bazilian and Stephanie Diaz. Emma Bazilian and Stephanie Diaz are content and art directors at Frederick Magazine. Emma is a design writer and a former editor at House Beautiful. She is an avid needle pointer and a collector of vintage fabrics. Stephanie works with the visual team at Schumacher and served as an editor of Architectural Digest. She is a lifelong New Yorker and was the art director for two design books, The Authentics and S's for Style. This impressive book offers more than 250 rooms by iconic designers, including Miles Red, Celery Kimball, Mark D. Sykes, Mario Boada, Sister Parrish, Billy Baldwin, and more. It could easily be the most definitive illustrated handbook on timeless, traditional decor. These are all traditional rooms for modern living, and they all incorporate many of Schumacher's iconic textiles and wall coverings. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but I did, because this book was covered with Schumacher Garden Gate chintz fabric. Throughout this book, the pages are filled with chintz, wicker, ruffles, patterns, and skirts skirted beds, skirted tables, chairs, ottomans, and even sinks. These beautiful design features and old school decorating details are making a comeback in a fresh new way. Thanks to a group of designers who put their own unique spin on these beautiful classics. Emma Bazilian writes in the introduction, It is said that certain genetic traits skip a generation, red hair, for example, or color blindness, or based on personal experience, a strong affinity for floral chintz. She continues to write, I was born in the early 1980s. I spent many of my childhood weekends at my grandparents' houses, where I developed an interest in knitting and crocheting, as well as watching early MGM musicals. I bid on antique dolls at auctions and as the years went on, my parents watched, perplexed, as I insisted on outfitting my bedroom with Laura Ashley, florals and toile. I took up needle pointing and I amassed an enviable Lily Pulitzer collection. That looks like something your grandmother would wear, my mother would say, and I took it as a compliment.
sprinkled throughout the book are several pages from the Schumacher archives that feature Gloria Vanderbilt, CZ Guest, Mark Hampton, Dorothy Draper, Sybil Colfax, and John Fowler. They also pay homage to favorite collections, like Princess Diana's Herond Collection, Diane von Furstenberg's Fabergé Collection, and Bunny Mellon's Majolica Collection. In the chapter, Setting the Table, Schumacher and Good China dominate, and we can revisit the tables at the Colony Room, designed by Elsie DeWolf in 1907. Join Schumacher, the legendary design company, for a tour of spaces that meld an appreciation for the past with an eye to the future. Luminary interior designers illustrate how to breathe new life into traditional design and display rooms from the past and the present that will inspire and captivate. Charm School, the Schumacher Guide to Traditional Decorating for Today, written by Emma Bazilian and Stephanie Diaz. This book is 250 pages. It is published by Monticelli Schumacher, and it retails for $55. Today, I'm going to set the table, and my inspiration is a Schumacher floral chintz and a seafood dinner from an old Low Country cookbook that belonged to my grandmother. For the florals, I'm going to use lots of greenery with a few pale roses and hydrangea.
For my place cards, I'm going to use a box of chocolates wrapped in a coastal map. I will only be hosting four people, so place cards aren't really necessary, but it shows your guests that you thought about them. And who doesn't like to see a gift with their very own name prominently displayed by the bow? It always elicits a smile at the beginning of the meal. This tablecloth is a traditional floral print, and I'm going to use a cream placemat. My china is an old Noritake pattern with a border of seashells called Stanford Court. I will be mixing that with an Anna Weatherly pattern called Seascape. For my flatware, I'm going to use Colonial Shell by Reed and Barton. I purchased my first piece of this when I was 18 years old. It was a melon spoon. My hometown had a beautiful gift shop and I would treat myself with flatware. I'm pretty sure that was normal for a teenager in the 1980s. For my glassware, I'm going to use a pattern called Cherokee Rose. This pattern was made between 1944 and 1966 by Tiffin. And because it fits in with the theme so well, I'm going to use this oyster shell salt dip. I originally used ivory candles, but they seem to fade and dissipate into the background. I like these green ones a little better. I can't decide if I want to use an ivory napkin or a terracotta pink, but I do want to fold it into the shape of a rose, and I'll show you how.
I still can't decide between the ivory and the terracotta pink napkin. Let me know which one you like the best. Now, all I have to do is cook. Thanks for spending some time with me, and I hope you enjoyed the book review, and I hope I will see you next week.